We got hashtag hoodie myth going on right now. He's dancing. He's feeling good. Shout out to that windbreaker. I'd love to have one. TSM, feel free to tweet at me. At Lando, let's get it. Where are we dropping? I don't exactly know as of yet, but it should be an interesting game. Here we go, boys. I'm more excited than I've ever been here. And Cole Hogman sounds like the owner of a, uh, a steel mill. I feel like that <laughs> name sounds very professional if you just pronounce it actually as Cole, C-O-L-E. <laughs> so TSM and Steel Hamels Mill. Dropping together on Greasy here. <laughs> Going into game one of loser semifinals. <laughs> Whoever wins this is guaranteed third place, splitting $3,000. Oh my goodness. Oh, But yeah, TSM going to be landing actually toward uh, Greasy Grove. This is pretty uncharacteristic. If, if you were to tell me that one team was landing Greasy, one team was landing Salty Springs, I would definitely assume the opposite, but the uh, typical strategy that we do see from certain squads is, of course, switching on a Hamlet's perspective, but what we do see coming in from squ squads as of recent is that instead of going Sp specifically in towards Salty Springs, they're actually going to kind of go out toward the uh, broken down buildings just on the outside, which happens to be the case So uh, yep. for the opposite team here. So nice place coming in from TSM, though. Early knockdowns going through, and it uh, looks like they don't have the greatest of equipment as of yet, but that quickly will change as the... Oh, my gosh. Oh, uh, myth. The Absolutely entirety disgusting place. of a building just got destroyed in a matter of seconds. And that's that C4. We're talking about with that buff, you're literally able to completely disintegrate an entire building. And what does that leave you when, as we mentioned earlier, you're just in there thinking and everything is going to be just fine. You're looting, and the next thing you know, the floor is out from underneath you, and Hamlet is already getting three knocks. Myth also on fire, and it looks like the TSM boys are going to be taking an early lead here in game one of the loser semifinals. You know, this Greasy Grove strategy has been working incredibly well. I kind of questioned it at first, but now I'm understanding it. There's a lot of people that have been going greasy, and I'm kind of curious to know if there's maybe a battle pass objective for the reason why so many people are going there, because, man, I got to say, the competition has been heating up over in this certain area, and of course, when they shift over to shifty that would be even more potentials for more kills but a great i mean come on seven kills within what the first couple of minutes the first they, they were seven for 19 that is unheard of when it comes into the very beginning of a game like that's unreal I don't know, man. I think Greasy Grove is now the place to go. I mean, we've talked about the ability for TSM to initiate <laughs> the strategies as one player tries to go for the jump trap. Uh, of course, Myth is going to be ready and, and fighting there for the frag. But uh, generally, right? I mean, it was previously with Salty Springs. Maybe we're seeing TSM change up the meta yet again. Seven for 19 in the first 100. That's unreal. This is 10 kills already. If he Once he drops this guy, there's already a player knocked. Hamlin's able to eliminate the guy that's down. Takes out another one with the shotgun. Folks, we have got an extremely large lead here. First 40... Literally a quarter of the kills are now going to be on them. 11 total for TSM. A whopping zero right now for Liquid. That's 72 crazy. hours. And Hogman, still though, just game one. Still plenty of eliminations left here for Liquid and Cole to make this comeback. As you're going to see them finally getting some engagements here in Dusty Divot. And definitely so. Dusty Divot's been one of the hot spots as well whenever it comes to overall oh, kills. And we're seeing that now as 72 hours Oof. is beaming his opponents. Over there in Dusty, and I believe what he has a player above him. Maybe he's got a he's just building up for whatever reason to get that high ground. But there he goes, he does take some damage. That's going to be from Dusty, no mats, and players are going to be on either which side of him. Yeah, puts up the backboard and tries to reinitiate the fight. Yeah, he definitely does, and dodging sniper bullets like the Matrix. But he is running out of ammunition. He does have a shotgun in his back pocket, of course, not going to work at that range, so he's got to be careful as to what is about to go down. But luckily for him, he does have Hogman down below pushing to try and give him a little bit of an extra cushion <laughs> in terms of defense. And he's going to be on top of this player. Great building strategies overall. C4 does go out to bring him down to the ground, and he's going to get some pop shots on him from up above. Great reco recovery from these two gentlemen. Yeah, nice plays, of course, to try to dive into Dusty Divot, and that seems to be working out pretty decently in the overall scheme of things. Of course, uh, three kills, of course, to, uh, what is it, TSM's 11, down by eight for the time. But, hey, the game is still early. We're, we've still got, what, 42 engagements still to be found, but uh, looked a little bit scary for a time. There was actually a moment where I think it was Jeez. 72 hours, took off his headset, went into auto-running mode, and a sniper bullet happened to whistle past his ear. So a little bit of a scary scenario for a moment there from 72, but uh, took the sniper bullet with uh, you know, a grain of salt, kind of moved on from it, put the backboard toward uh, the one enemy who was shooting at him from, I think that might have been like something around the, the shifty mode, or, or not shifty, but I think it was something like greasy or something on those lines, but uh, managed to take the bullet and uh, moves on from here. So pretty decent play from them, and now they got the hot rocks 
Like I said, this is the interstate. When it comes down to this map, you can go pretty much anywhere that you want to, and we'll see which por portion of the map they've been to uh, try and attack. Now, just five mats here. As you can see, Myth making his way up top, trying to get the protection here for Hamlins, as he's going to be healing up as well. Luckily, he's got two of those minis in a full shield pot, so he's going to be just fine sitting at 132. Makes that edit. Knows he now needs to help, but it looks like they're going to be able to take that player out as well, making it a 12-kill game for TSM. Now leading, oh, 14 actually. Counting is really hard, I'm going to tell you that right now. Mm. 14 to 3, a very good game one start for them. 31 engagements left, and they're still just having a good time at Shifty Shafts. Yeah, Shifty Shafts could have the potential to have even more engagements, but it looks like uh, according to where they marked on the map, they're going to be heading over towards Tilted to pick up some further engagements there. So three hotspots already as we saw them take over Greasy, we saw them take over Shifty, and now they're going to take over Tilted for more kills. And now I can kind of see, right? Greasy has a lot of engagements, but when they rotate over to Shifty, they have potential for more loot, more engagements, and also those mushrooms, too, that they can pick up to kind of give them a little extra padding when it comes to their shields. So I'm definitely seeing the overall strategy for this rotation, plus they're on the edge of the circle. They catch anybody who's going to be pushing in, who's maybe on the outskirts of the map whenever they drop, but great stuff coming in from TSM. Great start. 72 hours. Hogman, they've got a lot of work ahead of them. Great shot out of Hogman there on the bottom right corner. You see now they're finally starting to creep up in kills again. Another three out of him with that squad swipe. Now a total of six here, only down eight. And of course, i, I got to be honest with you, Taylor, I absolutely love mushrooms and apples being an addition to this game. Considering you, you can't heal with bandages, it does give players that opportunity, especially when you're in those weird pressure situations with that, that storm closing in, to, to get some extra heals in on the way out. And of course, uh, you know, I just like the fact that they're big and, and edible. And I feel like you'd be really full after three or four. Mm -hmm. you, so. def you definitely would be, honestly. Mushrooms are, are a great treat, apparently, even in this game. And apples, too. <laughs> As, oh, no! <laughs> and, uh, Hogman having a little trouble there. Yeah. It's, unfortunately, uh, crashing. Got to watch out for those steps. That happens in real life, too. And trust me, it's tragic when it happens. Is that when you in the parking lot on occasion? Yeah, I used to be. I used to work at Kroger as a, as one of the baggers, <laughs> and riding shopping carts was kind of my specialty. Is that trust right? me, it has happened. We've seen him hit a ramp off of an old sack of potatoes <laughs> once. It has uh, happened. They were True so story. old that he was able to sharpen them into small little ramps, <laughs> and. Uh, <laughs> That's a true statement there. Myth, though, finally getting the hunting rifle in his hands. A nice double pump combo there as well. Will he be able to connect with one of these players? He says, hey, Mr. One by One, if you stick your head out one more time, I'm going to punish. And that is exactly what these pro players do. They punish here. Okay. Running out of mats slowly, though, as we move along. <laughs> Definitely move running along out of mats like after we that. <laughs> I don't know what just happened there, but he happened to convulse on his uh, blueprint screen there for the time. But it looks like Explosion's starting to come through. He happens to try oh, to no. find one on the opposite end. 93 HP. He's still set and ready to go. <gasps> but no! no mats. He's loading down toward the bottom side of the mountain. Takes, what, 49 damage. Take, making his way through. And it looks like he's going to be an engagement. Does get taken down. He has been dropped. Will he be fully thirsted is the question. And now he's living at the hope of one random player They're to both save him. Both down. They're both gone. TSM, though, still... 14 kills, an amazing start to this game one for them, which is actually huge considering they got knocked out. Still plenty of engagement for Hogman and 72 hours to make this comeback and take the lead for our game one with 28 engagements left in this game. I want to point out that TSM's original start was probably the best start that we've seen in all of Friday Fortnite. They found seven of the first 19 kills in a game. As a duo, that is that is that doesn't happen. That doesn't probably seem like an insane stat to a lot of people. Seven of the first nineteen, there are so many kills that are happening. We talked about. I think at one point I was talking about, oh, there was eighty guys alive. Thirty seconds later, there were sixty alive. Like that's how fast a lot of these frags happen. The fact that they were involved that quickly, they had fourteen kills in total right? as a duo when there were still sixty-five players alive. That is unreal stuff. This early in the game, they were on pace to break our duo's kill record for Friday Fortnite. Of course, they do get eliminated early. They start to kind of slow down their pace. And this is the opportunity for Hogbrand in 72 hours to get brought back. But this is a sweat off the brow type of situation. This is a second life. This is a second opportunity mm. for this team to bring it back. And in our losers semifinals, man. I mean, like I said, the, one of the greatest starts in all of Friday Fortnite, they go out early. Now you have the opportunity to at least bring this, this game back, this series back, to an even playing field. You couldn't be more blessed than that right now. Now, yeah. when you start to see those players do the little jump pad survey, you, you usually know. I'm usually across the map, scoped in with a sniper rifle, scared to take the shot. I know that when I run into that guy's skin later on in the game with his little 
little purple eye backpack that I'm going to be scared of him, all right? Because you see a lot of these pro players are playing as these default skins so they can purposefully bait Skin players baiting, into thinking yep. that they're bad. So I, I prefer, I mean, it's, I, it's, I started doing it as well. Oh, yeah. and, and not on purpose on the Switch. I just don't want to ask you, yeah. <laughs> rebuy skins. But look at the, ooh, what is this skin? Uh, this is uh, the, uh, what is it, like a uh, Electro skin or whatever? Exactly this was like yeah. whenever EDM was, EDM was around, he, they kind of came out with these skins here. <laughs> oh, yeah, and this is also I'm when they came out with the glow stick uh, pickaxe as well. So. Dude, the glow stick, glow stick pickaxe. pickaxe is nice. The glow stick, super it, clutch. It definitely is. Of course, I own both of these skins plus the pickaxe. I'm um, just saying. Well, okay, <laughs> yeah. I just want to brag also, a little bit, Taylor, but it's okay, though. It's fine. Kind of kind of spend a lot of money. Happens to be rocking the uh, Boo Zela <laughs> melee weapon as well. Shout out to the World Cup. And... Uh, yeah, Watch yeah. Spain versus Portugal. They tied, I think, three to three. Wow! Did you? Did you actually know I'm Portu I I part Portuguese. Are you really? Right? Believe it or not, yeah. yeah. Wow! So you, were you rooting on Portugal? Uh, I'm always gonna. I mean, the USA unfortunately wasn't in it, so yeah, I'm yeah. rooting for for Mexico and Portugal. I forget who we lost to. We lost to someone. No, I to not <laughs> make it there. That, that's what <laughs> happens. Uh, we are. We just weren't chosen. You know, America. We just didn't get opportunity. Oh well, man, no kills <laughs> found by 72 hours. Oracle <laughs> Hogman. At this point, they are down. Current of eight kills, and of course they had plenty of engagements left, but sixteen. But even oh. with that being so, a little llama is going to be the found. Llama. Hit the Check llama. This so out. once again, going back, I, I still want to touch on. I don't like the fact that they they limited it down to two hundred. And the reason being is because there's only three llamas on the map. Okay, at, at any point in time, there's only three llamas. When you find one, it is game changing. But there's no reason to nerf it as much as they did. I would like to see like, them increase it just a little bit more. For, for pubs, I definitely agree. From a competitive aspect, I don't want. I, I want the least amount of randomness as possible in a game. And so the fact that it's kind of like based off of you know whatever really is in the game at that point, it to me is a little bit kind of like iffy. Like I don't want the, I, the less randomness, the better. Essentially, like you want to get it as rid of as much RNG as possible to make a game as competitively as it possibly can be. Because competitive and you know RNG are. Total opposites. You don't want them to intertwine yeah. whatsoever. But uh, I don't know, man. I, I definitely agree regarding the competitive scene, or excuse me, regarding the pub scene. But as far as competitive, I, I don't know, man. I'm just not a big fan of the, the llamas, especially how many resources that you get from the llamas. We didn't talk about build fights, 1,500 resources. You mean handing that off to some of your teammates and you're back into a building fight no matter what. I don't know. Uh, that is one. And also, too, we talk about, right, when it comes to the competitive, each one of our squads, or whether it's duo squads, I mean, you, obviously the future of Fortnite competitive esports continues to be seen. So if you want to talk about all players in a lobby are competitive players, one of them is going to spot at least two out of the three llamas, if not all three llamas. So there's going to be at least a fight where that team utilizes that llama oh, check in competitive out that, play. That Skybridge takedown there. Unfortunately, no kills that come out of that, but... Looks like they're going to be involved in, in two gunfights here as 72 Hours and Hogman are going to be just soaring and foring. Anybody that comes into the direction here knows that there's going to be two teams engaged. They don't even spot them. Don't even hear them. They're not playing with headphones. They're playing with marshmallows in their eardrums, apparently, because that guy did not hear him fall down right behind him. Gets up top, and as you can see, this is going to be one of those moments where he's going to try to edit the second player once he gets into gunfight. But nice teamwork there from 72 hours as he's going to get jumped and still manage to get those shots off. Spots another, and you can see the heavy shotgun damage is insane. Pops another one, and again, the shotgun long range. Absolutely, Hawkman. I'm liking what I'm seeing from you, brother. That's one thing about the heavy shotguns. Even though all the shotguns were, in fact, nerfed, the heavy shotgun got no nerf, which means ooh, that is why it is ooh, uh, currently ooh, being used and it is so effective. The shots travel. You get more distance with the heavy shotgun than you would with any other. So great stuff coming in from that damage fall off. Great work. They pick up four more kills to put it at a four kill deficit at this point. Moving into the second round, of course, we still have eight more engagements. We could see a lead come in here as we do see Beeman, the player, with the zoom zoom is, in fact, going to be 72 hours. So his teammate is going to be moving up to the right. And here we see the rolls now starting uh, to come into play. 72 hours is going to be in the back trying to pick up these kills. Bless you. Uh, absolutely, Legion. He's going to be trying to get these kills from the back. Cole Hogman. Why isn't he pushing? He's got to push up. He's got to be aggressive at this point. You've got 72 hours beaming down from the bottom. Does he have one kill? He, he does. does have one So kill. he's definitely playing the assist role here. Absolutely. We saw him distance-wise. Yeah. Hawkman was up close. And we see Nine literally frags, almost every yeah. player from the remaining squads basically be engaged in this in this weird small area right in Salty. So as you can see, hopefully we're going to see Hawkman get a nice build, but he does end up knocking him through there. 189 damage. Manages to get the thirst as well, not thrust. For some reason, that's what wanted to come out 
of my mouth there. Gets to Thursday. <laughs> Gets <laughs> just the head peak here. A nice pump as well Jeez. from 72 hours. And then takes him down too. And if we get the opportunity, I want us to compare the classes right now regarding these two players because, of course, we talked about the roles that they have in play right now. You want to talk about a support player? 72 hours, right? He has double pump. He's got one of them being a common. He's got a common regular assault rifle. He also has a scoped AR. The scoped AR is the most important factor yeah, we're bringing yeah. up. And Hogman's arsenal right now. He has two heavy shotguns. He has a scar. And I think he has a few other things to his title as well. There's a major difference as far as the classes right now. He also has a blue hunting rifle. That is hardcore based off of slays. That's hardcore based off of being in your face type of play style. And this is a fantastic thing to see regarding what, what is super evident right now in a support player and the aggressor. Hogman is the aggressor. 72 happens to be the transition player in the back lines firing from afar. And I think it's great to see these guys kind of implementing these roles. And I'm sure they're playing in scrims all the time he is so accurate with the hunting rifle he hits shots left and right I, I honestly he rivals that of some of the best competitive players whenever it comes to sniping overall oh but as i say that he gets taken out from a sniper shot 113 meters and now it's going to be up to 72 hours to either a go for the kills or go for the rest but at this point he's he, has ramps. For, he, he doesn't have any ramps he doesn't have any he's ha being forced now to try and get scraps over here in salty springs to try and get some resources yeah. so he can make a push at his opponents up ahead and i do believe they will, in fact, be at quite a distance. Like I said, we saw that snipe shot at 113 meters. And one thing that's important to mention as well is that after Hogman dies, all of his resources, his heavy shotguns, his scar, his blue hunting rifle, that all goes to the opposition. So that's one thing that 72 Hours has to be keeping in the back of his mind. He doesn't have the preferred weapons. The fact that he gave those over to Hogman now happens to work against him. So that's when the roles, obviously, that come into play at times can also hurt you. When your main aggressor, the guy who has the best kit in the entire game, most likely, is now taken out, you have to face off against against that squad now of players who now have that kit in their hands. And let's not for, forget to mention here that they're actually still down a kill despite Myth and Hamlin's being out for so long. It's currently 14-13. Yeah. to 13. TSM still in the lead. Three engagements, though, so plenty of kills here for them to take a lead. But we're basically going into a two, a second game here, rather, yep. um, a two game, apparently, um, with, a, with a pretty close matchup here. So it's going to be all, de all determined in game two. Yeah, it definitely is. You see those plunges going out, and that's one of the things we talked about when it comes to destroying bases. We saw some ramps being built up, but he had such a great height advantage that he's able to just pin down those bullets and rain them down. Is the only three players remaining, and to go in right relatively even into the second round, every kill is in fact going to count. Let's but, watch the edit play here. Oh, oh the no. impulse into the tree! Oh, the tree was <laughs> saved! The tree of life! And the build, the save from 72 hours. Extreme. I mean, look at this versatility here in his build. Manages to go, oh, you trap me in? Good night, Papa. Oh, my gosh. 72 Still happens gets to stay the like that. The, the trap! The trap! The trap! Oh, my what gosh. A clutch trap. A second opportunity in life, and he makes it worth it. Another player, though, <laughs> is hot on his tracks. Another he places trap? another trap down. And, and he knocks it with the trap! trap! Back-to-back -back trap kills. <laughs> oh, my goodness. 72 hours. I don't know how you've happened to pull this off. He's and got he a another one. He killed the whole final he squad. He just killed three players with a trap <laughs> after he gets impulsed into a tree. Fortnite Esports, be still my heart. 72, what was that? That's that a, was unreal. That's a highlight. That's a highlight clip. Somebody needs to edit that into a montage oh of EDM. He God. won the game. With some EDM. He won the game from a tree and then won it with two traps. Oh, my God. I that's <laughs> unbelievable. Like, <laughs> that's one of the craziest plays I've it's seen in all just, of Fortnite. It's like it's the reverse just, of the movie ha The Happening. What, what is? <laughs> like, he was helped by the environment instead of <laughs> murdered by it. And I, I just can't believe, which, by the way, one of the worst Mark Wahlberg films ever made. Uh, 100%. I agree yeah. with you on that. That is another great idea well, you had tonight. We agree yeah. in that situation. Yeah. Though, yeah. Yeah, it was the plants. Oh, my gosh. Uh, man. The tree like, ended up coming out there and just really helping them out there at the end. I want to go back in theater mode. and just I, I hope 72 uploads that in some way from their perspectives. Like, like, you what is Fortnite? He gets he gets impulsed into a tree. Yeah. And then wins the game with traps. All three players. All like, three players. And those are three good players, too. Well, apparently not. They no, ran no, no, into no, no, three no. traps. Those he are baited three them good with, players. with the edits for the first one, too. Yeah, no, he did. And, he did. And then it's like the other guy. I don't know what he did. He jumped that <laughs> into the trap. <laughs> he was like, oh, my God. <laughs> just gets cut in half. Dude, it's like a magician that's really that, bad at his job. That's, that is on my top five of Fortnite. 
throughout the entirety of the game so far. Like Ninja's yeah. play, we've talked about like some like the like what was it uh, the revolver play coming in for Myth. That one absolutely is up there regarding best moments in Friday Fortnite history for <laughs> he sure. Hits it with the trap. That's that is. I don't know, man. That's crazy. I just, like, like I said, there's three guys alive, right? Those guys took out Hogman. They have his resources. They're good on basically everything. They at least have a scar, probably another one. They got double pump. They got everything to rock with. They probably have splodes as well, but they go for the challenge, and 72 baits all three of them into grabbing. I think I think he uh, only uses two traps. It wasn't like he yeah, trapped he, an no, entire he has two room. traps. He didn't use an entire room. He Mind had one you, left. Two, my, three people died from the I same I would two. like to say, but most importantly, the, one of the battle pass uh, objectives is to get three kills with the trap. He just <laughs> there you go, 72 two. hours. Congratulations. <laughs> so, in not the middle of a $20,000 tournament, <laughs> he just you're out here <laughs> getting trap kills. We can, I can't appreciate that play more. At that point, at that point, you just have to, you would, at the end of the day, even if for some reason, you know, if they if end up losing this. It's like you just you go home and you're like eh, this Twitter clip eh, might make up the amount of my amount, amount, amount of loss before he made in the money. <laughs> He's like, it's, in one know, video. Like, you know what? I might have just won maybe nearly ten thousand dollars. You know what though? I'm so close to my battle pass next level. Yeah, that's all that I could care about. Block matters. matters. That blockbuster <laughs> skin though. He's probably like getting blockbuster super, skin. He's probably getting super hype. Like, oh my gosh, let's go! And, it's, and Hogman's like, yeah, dude, how'd you just clutch that? And he's like, no, dude, I just got another level in my battle pass. <laughs> like that's insane. Battle pass is life, by the way. Just want to. Say. I have been working for years to try to find <laughs> what like seven supply drops or seven supply boxes of ammo. <laughs> In one game, I still haven't gotten it yet. <laughs> yeah, you know where you have to do that at. Where's that? Uh, if you can make it out of one city, uh, you can find yeah, it. That in doesn't happen. City. We don't make it out of there. Yeah, yeah it's no. crazy to think that <laughs> yeah. the play style would. Uh, I, I actually, I, I Team I, Butterfly I, doesn't see a whole lot. Team of success. Butterfly doesn't see a whole lot of success. Oh, we actually land loot lake and hide in the water underneath uh, <laughs> mats. At least three out of four. <laughs> we underneath mats. That's where we had underneath. And, and and Matt, which is our <sighs> friend who builds above us. So we're actually underneath Matt, and, and, and we stay alive in that that's, scenario that's here. True, so yeah. TSM now, I believe, down by maybe, what, one kill? A f- uh, it's, it's a handful at the very least. Yeah. Let's call him Liquid Coal. How about we call that the team name here for the right Liquid side? Liquid Coal, I like yeah, 72 that. hours in Hogman. 72 hours is a lot, of, a lot of words. Can I point out like one of the best combinations of all time, going back to my Call of Duty roots? It happened to me when Burns off joined Team Liquid. It was Liquid Burns. Oh, yeah. That's amazing. That's, ama- that's an amazing I missed the name there. E-Girl Slayers. That was always a great that was name a good from one, back yeah. in the day. Shout out to yep. Revan. Yep. Uh, also, Rainbow Trout. That was a Burns. team name that I used to play against. Yep. Rainbow yeah. Trout. Uh, yeah. Abusement Park. That was fun. Well, speaking of so nice. many good names. Well, giving you guys an update. There's a score. Two kill lead for 72 hours in Hog. That is uh, not a lot, but you know what? Here we are. They're going to be. <laughs> oh, look at Myth, dude. He's on the, he's on the hunt. That's, that's, that's and, no, and he's no longer on the hunt anymore. Oh, this is actually very bad for him. He, this is very, very bad for Myth right now. There's no floor. Oh, my gosh. A leprechaun or maybe even an elf just happened to open the door with a <laughs> yeah. shotgun to your That's face. That's actually Will Ferrell from the movie <laughs> Elf. He just got done drinking four gallons of maple syrup. An unbelievable play there from Will, almost killing the Halloween bandit here as he is going to be making his way back to the McDonald's where he escaped from here. The Hamburglar needs to definitely put his mask back on. The kids are scared of the skull. Oh, my. But spots two players and manages to knock one. And actually, just teammates in there. And another one. It looks like the Leprechaun's going to be coming back in. Will Ferrell does get taken out. The blonde man himself finally <laughs> drowned in his own maple syrup. Something we haven't seen in years here, Landon. It's, it's absolutely true. Yelled Santa, but unfortunately could not find him. As it looks like Myth and Hamlins will escape with two kills. But it looked a little bit scary, right? To think, what, uh, Myth took a decent shotgun shot to the stomach and thankfully will survive of course rocking the ever covered his skin everyone wants it and no one has it apparently except for myth and like maybe three other people so that's rather unfortunate but hey i still got some more floors to loot out as uh, moving on from myth and hamlet's perspective uh he actually Hamlet is going to find another player as per usual it's uh pretty expected but uh, yeah regarding uh 72 hours in hogman they're playing pretty static not a whole lot of uh, momentum going for them we've got a uh, pretty much uncommon and common loadouts i don't think we see a Excellent. hardly a blue he's got MD enough silenced smgs arsenal. to potentially uh take down a single tree with all those bullets combined so that's Definitely. that's pretty exciting but obviously now a two kill lead out of the tsm boys no engagements on the side of liquid and of course hogman 72 hours though uh, finally maybe able to see some life here as they're making their way towards the divot. And oh God, there's just one of those areas where when it's very early on in the game, if you're unfortunate to come in with uh, rare loot or no loot, rather, uh, you know, by the way, for the record, the blue revolver, I think, is the rarest gun in the game. 
Really? So, yeah, I think it's the rarest gun in the game. Or? Yeah, I fight it once a day, even after about 40 matches. Which, by the way, out of a solid 40, we're winning four here. So shout out to that 10%. Ooh, um, LMG from the distance and still manages to get the player. You talk about recoil control, but still, he will take some shots as they are trying to go into residential at retail. But he finally does, in fact, get the knock. But even so, TSM answering on the other side as we see Hamlins has managed to get two kills, two eliminations at that point, answering right back pushing into residential and retail could be the potential for a lot of kills for himself but with that being said still taking damage it's going to be hogman but if i know one thing about him he is nasty with that hunting rifle and he oh, has yeah. been he has been trying his best to pick off as many heads as he possibly can oh and i think uh, 72 happened to just find a gold bolt as well that's going to uh, without question leave a mark that's that's for certain but also might want to put up the backboard here soon because he's got a full-on view. When you talk about Retail Row, how many buildings, how many players are probably lingering in Retail Row. The fact that have the greatest sniper in the entire game, looking at that throughout the entirety of the map, it's a pretty nice little line sight to hold. We could definitely be seeing a few more frags get found here from 72 and Hogman here in a, f in a few moments. Wow, oh, what an amazing a knock. Tree. 72, you're not just, you don't just jump in them, but you also fire through. That was, how did he see that player? He spotted him, and his head was barely visible through the roof. Manages to just see through those leaves somehow. Oh, my god! Spots gosh. him. I mean, talk about an ambush, literally. I mean, he just drops him, and it looks like he was a solo player alive for one of those squads <laughs> that they were actually fighting. It's so four kills now for 72 hours in Hogman. That's going to be six. So they're going to be actually oh losing god. by, I believe, one kill uh, to TSM. 72 is actually Tarzan, believe it or not. He jumps in trees, and he also has great vision yeah. through the foliage as well. Yeah, so, I actually uh, believe it. I saw him in the, in the reboot that they actually did recently. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> and also, I, I, after the last game of 72 hours, I, I believe you have to be coming out of this with so much hype backing you up. At this point, does that guy know how to build a, a wall? Wow. I don't think any of them do. They've got all got pop rocks, and of course, the team shots coming out of Hamlin's and Myth just out of this world. That last player over there is trying to build himself in. He says, please don't. Please don't push me. I have five mats left. Yeah, Myth was beaming the players down below oh. and great shots. And look wow. at that, that pop shot there. With he killed the, himself. Came in with the sub, and there he is getting some more damage down and another elimination in their pockets to bring them to a total of 11 kills so far. Once again, another great start. We see a total of 22 engagements still remain. And on the opposite end, we have only four kills, which means, of course, now 72 hours in Hogman. They came in with a little minor league, but now they have a huge deficit to cover and not a lot of engagements remain. And we've been talking about, like, oh, my gosh, like 72 and Hogman, they're starting to get involved in the engagement game. Like, they're starting to kind of bring themselves back into it. But every time they start to find a few frags or a few eliminations, Myth and Hamlin's are right there to respond back each and every single time. So while we've been giving them a lot of credit, like we said, we go back to, to Hamlin's and Myth's perspective, and we're like, oh yeah, they also have 11 frags as well. So definitely when it comes down to this matchup, I think it's fair. 72 hours in Hogman, they've got to play better. They need to play more aggressive as well. We came into a few of their games from time to time, and they were having, I think, like what, like 20, 21, 22 elimination games. They need to replicate that performance to take down TSM because... I don't know, man. TSM, they obviously got dropped a little bit early in their last game, but if they continue on at that pace, they can set the new duos record in Friday Fortnite. So these guys are on a new one, and you got to keep playing at a very high-level pace to drop them. And I believe in that scenario, we see 72 hours from afar. That's his role. That's his play style, but it doesn't work out. We see Hamlin's up close, steals that kill right out, out right out from under mm -hmm. Liquid 72. 72 hours in Hogman now down by about 5 to TSM. So you're looking at 19 engagements for them left. You know, both teams kind of, they're kind of split up here. So you see 72 hours in Hogman. Uh, wait a second. Who's who's pushing? Is Hogman riding somebody else's cart there? Is that TSM's it shopping is. cart? It's actually Myth who's riding Hey, listen, it. sometimes you just got to push as a gang. You know what I mean? Because those engagements, I feel like he's oh, he's super confident he's going to be able to take all those kills from the TSM boys. <laughs> if I was Myth, I would just let the cart go down Dusty Divot and just let him kind of travel. I, I think he was trying to uh, maybe pull off that strat, not exactly sure. Oh, I love this. If he hit a kill, that would be amazing. Just want to point that out. Yeah, interesting strategy coming in. You know, we see that often throughout uh, Friday Fortnite. We've seen some reses come in from the opposite team. We saw that in our last tournament, obviously helping push with uh, – and there's no rule against that. There's rules against sabotaging, but not rules against helping the other teammate. As I say that, though, Hogman picked up a nice kill on that bottom right screen. He's going to have some loot straight in front of him to kind of close a little bit of that deficit out as the kills are starting to dwindle away. It's definitely going to be a close one, but – we're looking at Hamlin's. He's over at Loot Lake. He has plenty 
of uh, Matt's there. Finds two chests in front of him. Hopefully he'll be able to get something out of there. He does get a half pop, but he's got to watch out. He is very, very exposed, and he's not building up. There was actually a challenge here. I think it was uh, in season three that was pretty difficult to get because obviously it's a super wide open area and whatnot. I think it was like ten stars to obviously try and get. Go to the and, boat. Uh, there was around that. Yeah, I think it was like around, like right around that area. But like the major thing was like, hey, if you grab these chests, then you have the opportunity to, to e easily take out players. And I went there probably five or six times in a row and, and easily either got exploded or shot with snipes from about seventy-five meters out. So hmm. props to uh, for Hamlets to, of course, have those chests be available and to also do it uh, and not be shot at. So you know, there's that. Definitely. So I mean, come on, it's such an open area. But at this point. Looking at the screens, we do see another engagement going down 72 hours. Manages to get a knock and yet another potential knock straight in front of him. That player is not building up. Is he sticking oh, him here? He's, he's sticking him. Double sticks of 72 hours. That is Making awesome. some of the most montage-esque plays we've seen. If he gets another one here, throwing those sticky plungers, a.k.a. the bathroom cleanup grenades. <laughs> This is gonna be this is gonna be fantastic. Nothing's getting stuck here. I'll tell you that, Landon. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely so. As we're seeing, he's pushing up. Another shots in front of him, and this is actually really a good opportunity for them to close this deficit, finding all the players straight in front as they keep engaging. And I do believe, looking at his mini map, seventy-two hours is all alone, which means all these kills are ripe for the picking yeah. if he's able to get them all. And that is exactly what you want if you're at a deficit, especially against a team like TSM. Port of Forts galore as two are going to come down. Of course, there might be a player inside there. He's going to jump in. Nobody's home. Actually, there is a player just below. Yeah, might be able to plunger him. And I don't think he's. I don't, yeah, think, I don't think he saw. Or wait, he might be going for the bait. Yeah, I think he actually knows this guy's here. He's wanting him to. Uh go down from the bottom, but he's actually going to go and just explode the floor. We'll see how this frag can potentially come through. Of course, tries to go for the blind fire. Also sets up the outside ramp to make sure if that one does get shot down that he is going to be safe. To go two. for what happens to be two players here. Shuts down one. Goes for the 360. Amazing drops shots. another as well. Another the one in front. Slingering, but here comes the third enemy. Can he find that Woo! one? And yes. 72 hours. Three frags in a row and another opportunity to bring themselves back into this game trying to close that deficit. Versus the boys on They already teams. have. They're up by so one. They're oh, up wow. by one kill. Okay. Yeah, TSM is currently going to be down by one kill and 12 engagements remaining. We do see a split finally as Hamlin. He's going to be at Tilted. Myth, he's going to be off still by Loot Lake. 72 hours. Oh and my uh, gosh, Hawkman man. still finding more engagements as Hawkman gets another knock. And, of course, another one in front. And he's going to get the elimination. And that's going to be two more in his back pocket to put them up three total kills. The kills are starting to get away. TSM. They could have a chance of being knocked out of this tournament. 72 yeah. hours in Hogman could win this. I think we're going to see a tie, Taylor. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just throwing that <laughs> out there. Four kills. I'm just throwing that out there. Yeah, that would be absolutely <laughs> absurd. Of course, we see how close game one and game two are as far as frags are considered. Coming down to the wire as what? Ten? Or excuse me, uh, nine, nine players. Nine are still more engagements. Up and ready to go. They're not about to be alive for much longer as I believe Myth has spotted one engagement in front of him. He's kind of off in the distance by his lonesome. And this is a great opportunity for TSM, right? You talk about all guys being clumped around the same uh, area of yep. the map. You don't have to worry about kind of exchanging kills. Oh, there's tried to do least, a rocket jump. Now, there is at least two forts, one t just toward his north side. There's one just outside of northwest. He has the opportunity to probably at least take down two or three players. I believe Hamlet's at the same time happens to be engaging on guys just outside of Loot Lake as well. So this is a huge opportunity for TSM to absolutely close this deficit and to bring themselves back into this game. Of course, bringing out the minigun that's going to explode the entire setup. And here comes the rush. Definitely the rush is, in fact, going to be coming through all alone is, in fact, going to be myth. And now we're starting to see that potential of the minigun showing its true potential. And here we are seeing the typical myth. He's going to be pushing up, getting that high ground above his opponent. His opponent has no idea who, he is who he's going to be dealing with. But, oh, no, he loses the high ground. He's going to have to retake it as bomb. a boogie bomb does, in fact, come in. Does he take advantage of it? <gasps> Falls down, oh, but manages placement. to recover with the build. Comes in, player just below him. Does he get the kill? He's trapped in a box with him. Anything oh, can happen. My. And he does, in fact, get the knock now the question is where are the rest of the teammates and it looks like he's going to be shot from above doing some defensive building and his mats are running low and i say low because of course we know how he can build but finally he gets a little bit of a buffer minis there in his back pocket doesn't need him and he's going to the edit edits. down and finds oh. another player in front taking some major damage he's got to be careful at this point edits have to be on point does in fact get the oh kill guys gosh. we are literally getting down to mere 
kills between these two teams. Oh and gosh. Hamlin's is taking damage himself. But that's <laughs> By a, himself, yeah. But he actually dropped out and took fall damage. Oh, did he take fall? Okay, yeah, I thought did. I was about to say he's in another engagement. But I'm seeing seven and two hours on Hogman. They're going to be building up. They're trying to meet up with Myth up ahead. Yeah. It's literally coming down to mere kills at this point. But with that being said, an elimination Hogman, comes in yeah. from Hogman picking it up. And at this point, that's the score it. is so incredible. That's it, boys. That's it. If he picks up this kill, especially, and I believe TSM is out of the tournament. Hogman might have just did it there. He uh, With that one shotgun kill and a few eliminations at the end, that might have just sealed the deal. Oh my gosh, Myth knew he had the game in his hands. He just had to survive and find almost every single elimination. Wow. But once we see 72 and Hogman come through, I think that's what does it. I, think, it. I think they find two eliminations there at the end wow. and that just kind of propelled them.